Hey guys, summer's become and I'm really motivated to work out how to get an aircon running in my uh, caravan off grid. So using a battery setup and solar. Uh, I've tried this before, you can see my previous attempt. Uh, it worked okay, we know that the aircon starts up but now I want to see what I can really do and how long I can let the aircon run. I've upgraded the system, I'll show you that in a minute. But let's uh, start by turning on the aircon. Um, so this is my, I've upgraded the battery system now and uh, I've got 200 amp hour gel cell batteries. There's my inverter and a better way of um, connecting the inverter to the caravan by straight out of the inverter through the tunnel boot which goes under the bed and around plugging into the outside. So that means um, it will be used by a safety switch up here. So the batteries are floating on 14 or so volts now. Um, and I should be able to just turn this on. This is my remote switch down here, which I haven't fixed yet. Inverter is on. Things are beeping. Tom tester, if you don't have one of these, get one. It's on idle four and a half amps. Let's turn the aircon on. All right, so this is one of these new um, Dometic ones. I just set it at 23 degrees. We'll see what current that's pulling. 13 and a half amps, that'll go up. So also I have my car connected, which has got two batteries in it, about 150 amp hours between the starting battery and the second battery, and I've locked them so they're fixed on. And I'm running my car just for this, probably I reckon first 10 minutes. Oh, and I forgot to set the stopwatch. I wanna see how long this goes for. So, so this is the temperature at the moment, outside the van it's 34.3, inside it's 32 degrees, so it's pretty warm, good time to test. I've got a 250 watt solar panel, um, so that's what I've upgraded the second battery. And also you can see down here, um, 250 watt sandwich board solar panel, and there's a 150 watt one on the, on the roof. So it's starting to ramp up now, 30 amps. Still not sure if the um, the compressor's kicked in because I reckon last time it topped out about 50 or something like that. The question is where are those amps coming from? So that's what's coming out of the inverter. If I go onto this wire, so 25 of those amps are coming from the car, and then this is my solar panel here. It's only about three amps. It is a bit overcast. I'd be keen to hear from you guys, like on a sunny day, what I should be getting out of a, a 25, uh, 250 watt solar panel. I'm only getting three amps today. And it's pulling 65, so it's really cranking the juice. I wonder if that's because the voltage is dropping and the current is going up. So volts. Still, uh, that's still all right. Hopefully the sun comes out. Two and a half amps out of the panel on the roof, which is 150 watt. Interesting. Um, so we'll check in here um, in about 10 minutes time when I turn the car off, because I want to try and get the van to temperature. 70 amps now. Get the van to temperature, then I'm going to turn the car off and um, one more shake. So 27 of those amps are coming from the car, so it's still a fair bit coming out of the batteries. When I turn the car off, I'll report back and we'll see how the whole system's going. Hey, back again. So I changed my mind. Instead of running for 10 minutes, it nowhere near cooled the van down yet, and I still had knew I had a lot more to go. So I decided to let it run a bit longer. Um, so we're up to just about 30 minutes now, and. Um, We've dropped, it's actually got hotter outside, it's 36 outside, and we're just 29.7 there. So it's, it's dropped, um, what, three degree, two or three degrees um, in a half an hour. I am gonna go turn the car off now though, um, so you can see my system. I've changed the way that the solar panel was out here. I it's not in the shade. Um, that seems to be better for this moment. So it's hooked up to the Anderson plug, and uh, 
with a couple of batteries here. So there's a 55 amp power um, and a 95 amp power. Interesting to see what the car car's doing too. Alright, so that's off. Just shut that door to see what this is floating at in here. Yeah, 12.9. So there's a 160 watt solar panel on the roof here. That's floating pretty good. Well, let's see what's happening in the van now. It's all sorted out, so I'm not doing my summer trip this year. It's gonna be cool. Alright, so checking in 29 inside, 35 so outside after 33 minutes. Battery in the van is sitting at yeah, above 12. Um, and you can see I've got this uh, screen up just to help out the air conditioner. Um, just cool the area that I'm sitting in at the moment and the other end of the van's got the screen down as well so um, let's see what's going on with the electrical system it's pulling 63 amps there must be a cloud or something there's only one amp coming from the solar panel and 10 amps coming from the the car with the batteries and the solar panel on the roof Alright, we'll keep this test running for a bit longer and see how we go. Alright, we're just about to tick over an hour mark with the aircon running. Um, it feels quite pleasant in here now. Um, we It actually got hotter before outside, but the temperature's fluctuating outside. But it's 28 in here now, but it feels a bit cooler than that. Um, been going for an hour. Um, still got the voltage above 12 volts, which is great. Uh, I've got the fan on low at the moment, but we're running at high. Um, the rest of the time, I've just had it on low so it's not so noisy, so you can hear me through the microphone. Um, amps, let's drop down to 50 amps with 9 coming from the solar panel, I believe. No, I must have that the other way around. 1 coming from the solar panel, 9 coming from the car. Yeah. So there's no sun, unfortunately. I have noticed that when the sun does come out, the volts go right back up. Um, so I reckon once it hits temperature, this will just idle along for who knows how long. So we're basically at the hour and a half mark now. It's quite comfortable in here, it says 27, but it feels quite nice. 12 point, we're still above 12 volts. And that is because we've hit temperature. The compressor is turned off. And we're just running the fan only now. So I've got 11 amps that we're using. Um, and we've got six amps coming in. All right, so I've decided to pull the pin. Um, it's been um, an hour and a half, just a bit, a bit more than an hour and a half. Um, we have maintained a temperature of 27, although I swear it's cooler in here. But the volts are dropping under 12 now, um, and I think this is mainly due to having no sun out there. We're just not pulling any solar current in. Um, this system should pull in about 20 amps, I reckon, um, with all the panels that I've got. Um, so I'm going to pull the pin on the test. Uh, it's been a good test. I know I can, you know, do an hour and a half of pretty much just battery, just using like the car batteries and the batteries under the uh, under the bed there. Things to note: leave uh, the um, inverter um, uh, venting because the fan came on. It did get it didn't get hot, but it got warm, so the fan came on. Um, I don't know. I, I'm still not convinced that I think I can get more out of this system. Just needed the sun to come out to to prove it. So if I'm out on a sunny day, I'm going to give it another crack. The whole idea of this is it's been a hot day, been out on the beach all day or something, can come back to the van and. Uh, it's stinking hot and I want to put the kids to bed uh, or have an afternoon nap. I just want to be able to run the aircon for an hour or two and I know I can do it now. So uh, off-grid solar-ish air conditioning uh, is plausible. And I'm going to be doing more experiments like this. So if there's anything that you want me to do, please put it in the, in the comments below and I'll be sure to have a crack at it. And um, 
yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot more like this. So uh, press the subscribe or like button. That'll help me out. And um, I'll see you again soon. Cheers for watching.